what's up people how you guys doing i hope you guys are doing okay guys biggie's house was filled with less Lots of celebration yesterday, gyration, the house means jumping up and down because what happened? You guys, they won their wager. Congratulations. Well, you're back on to Spice Updates with Lovely One. I hope you guys are doing okay. Please do not forget to like the video and be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Please make sure you are fine. Please be safe. So, you guys, yesterday was the wager presentation. Hmm. It was indeed a mystery game. I have to tell you guys, me watching did not understand what they were doing. I was like, what is this? But I love the fact that it kept all of us, you know, glued to our screen and it kept us on suspense. Like, what is actually happening here? We had um TJ, who was like the moderator. Okay, we had the Umbadiwe twins who are like, I would like call them the ninjas or what? We had the players, Wani, Honey, were there. Victoria participated. Femi, Kelly Ray. Ooh, you guys. Kelly Ray was actually the became the winner after all. He was crowned with us beautiful crown and i'm like come is this a revelation what are you guys saying is this a revelation is are you guys indirectly crowning kelly ray i think who took that crown from him later it was she when i took it and put on her head like he had a great a lot of significance but mm, let's keep going in the game because for now you cannot tell her things i turn you know with the house with the way the housemates are playing you guys guess what we have our seductress <laughs> our seductress is our one and only nelly who has been causing commotion in the house in fact when her name was mentioned i was like what hmm so you guys they have started off with a game you guys know they've been preparing for this wager but at the time we thought they weren't serious with it because but we never knew they were not even supposed to work together because not that they weren't supposed to work together at the same time that's what i mean because after the whole um, mystery game they played and kelly actually succeeded there were points where they slayed those that did not make it and this guy was there um mickey like till now i can't even understand and so later after the had done with the we are done with the game and uh, tj talked about you know the game that is done Oyeka came and actually walked us through how the map is and what they were actually doing. I think it has to do with the rule book, okay, and the biggest house. So Oyeka did that and after she was done with that, well, the game, what we saw on the, what was written on the map, okay, the entrance point, where the housemates are not supposed to be, this, that, and they came, they came and you know revealed the what I call it the cast or the participant. Like each of the housemates had one thing they did, okay, towards the success of that game. So she started calling out their names from A to Z. But guys, Onyeka, you guys know it was Onyeka's idea. She brought the idea, okay, and. I was like, wow, Onyeka has done so much. In fact, she was she was just there two for seven, making sure that the game would be a success. And thank God it turned out to be a success. And they mentioned the ones that helped them with the drawing, Zion, I think Kelly. Who else? Oh, a whole lot of them. Guys, uh, I can't cram all those things on my head. Though. They mentioned a whole lot of them. Then Cassia, if you look at the, this beautiful, where they drew the dice, all those games, they said it was Cassia that designed it. Whoa, Cassia is actually a very talented young lady. I love that. I have to say, I have I keep saying it. Cassia is very talented. I am like super proud of her. You know, that's why some persons keep comparing her to Victoria. They feel Victoria is to and last night like victoria was just i don't want to go into victoria's but i know being an introvert but at least if she goes out come back to watch the show she may not really like what she has given and you want brands are watching you brands are watching you that energy well mm -hmm. our pretty queen please uh, you guys should not come for me we love her but we just want her to like you guys so the game continued guys i don't understand how they were playing this game and nelly was there 
um the one that was seducing some of the players that came i said okay the same nelly you you guys are want to give nelly a tag <laughs> If I went and mentioned her name, I would have asked that dress daily. Oh, but I said, please, oh, you push you free this chef. She's trying to respect herself. She's trying to be who she is. And I love the fact that she's not allowing them to play with her anyhow. Even despite the fact that she's becoming so close with Suj. So you guys, after the whole thing, you know, um, they called, you know, we are like, okay, what is Sean's on? They called Sean. They said Sean contributed to us. What, what, what? This. I said, okay, no problem, because I was ready to hear Sean's name. It was even later they called Victoria's name. Okay, because, yeah, Victoria was one of the players, the twins. And the twins, their mood was somehow, I don't know, whether they weren't happy or, I don't know, were they overly happy? I, I can't really say. But then, I love the fact that it was... That Onyeka did an amazing job. So they got into the house. The later, okay, ad break. Later, um, Biggie. Oh, wow. Biggie really spoke. Gosh, Biggie spoke like he was impressed. I have to tell you guys. And the, he declared that the one, the wager. Oh, you guys needed to see gyration. They were so happy. They were so, so happy. And you guys, before then, Chingwe and Zion had already made up. So Chingwe's mood was still... She was it was kind of elated, so it wasn't really that she's angry now. So everybody was busy, gyrating, jumping up. They got into the house, they like hugging each other, you know, talking about the wager, commending each other's efforts. You know, yeah, it was really all fun. Then later, Biggie played, started playing a song for them, and go. In fact, yesterday night, okay, Ben started speaking. Ben spoke about, oh God, he really thanked them. He said, especially those ones that really stayed up late working. Because I remember when Zion was speaking with Chingwe, Zion said he did not even eat because when Chingwe was accusing him that he ate how many times, he didn't bother about her. So um, he said no. That even Ruti brought food for him at what time, or uh, came and made indomie or whatever. So um, t Ben was like, "Whoa!" Some of them stayed up late working. He mentioned Zion and some other persons that stayed up very late at night. Try, but you guys, did you guys actually see that map? These people <laughs> deserved to win that. Which I said, if Big Brother talks otherwise, I'll know that he just wants to weaken them. Honestly, only the map alone is a win. The map they drew is a win. I have to tell you guys. And, oh God, they made it look so real, so beautiful. And it's really a mystery because we watching it, we are like, in the house, we are like, we don't understand what these people are doing. Sometimes we are even like, maybe they are going to win the wager. They are going to lose because we weren't understanding that was the essence of the game. Exactly, essence of the game for it to be a mystery. And... Wow, you guys, I just give it to them 100%. They did amazing. Kudos to Onyeka. Kudos to all the housemates that actually participated. Kudos to all of them. They did so well. And thank God this week now, henceforth, at least they're going to have food in the house, please, so that everybody will not be... <laughs> <laughs> would not be misbehaving and be mescafoning so you guys that's all about the wager hey hello of jesus coming i'll see you guys in my next video bye